سنا محمد رسول الله سنا محمد رسول الله حول قوة إلا بالله حول قوة إلا As the statement of Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala Ya ibadi ya ladhina amanu Inna ardi wasi'atun Fa iyaya fa'budun Allah Tabaraka wa ta'ala mentioned What can be translated to mean And this is in Surah Al-Ankabut Verse number 56 Is it so? قال الله تبارك وتعالى يا عبادي الذين امنوا يا عبادي الذين امنوا oh my servant who believed oh my servant who believe right so here allah is calling the his servants by their by their belief meaning this is restricted for those who what who have believed right Ya ibadi alladhina amanu O oh, my servant who believe Inna ardi wasi'atun Indeed my earth is spacious Indeed my earth is spacious Fa iyaya fa'budun So worship me alone So worship me alone The mu'allif Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab he said قال إمام البغوي رحمه الله. he say إمام البغوي he say سبب النزول هذه الآية في المسلمين الذين بمكة. he say the سبب النزول of this verse or the reason for the sending of this verse, the sending down of this ayah, this verse. it was in regard to the Muslims that was still in Mecca, that was still in Mecca, walam yuhajiru, and they did not perform the hijrah. They were still in Mecca, and they did not perform the hijrah. So what did Allah call them? Ya ibadi yalladhina amanu. This is exactly what earlier the Shaykh Hafizullah mentioned. Now, not because they didn't perform the hijrah, that they are to be taken as disbelievers. They are not to be taken as disbelievers. Lakin, hum ash, usat. They are from the sinful ones. Tayyip. Imam al baghawi rahimahullah, he said, that this, the reason for this ayah being sent down was for believe the Muslims that were still in Mecca and they did not perform the hijrah and they did not perform the hijrah and look what he say important point that is a refutation against the khawarij important point of Imam al baghawi that shows the aqeedah of Imam al baghawi rahimahullah right he mentioned nadahumullah bi ismi al iman Nadahumu Allahu bi ismi al-iman. Allahu tabaraka wa ta'ala call them by the name of iman. Allahu tabaraka wa ta'ala call them by al-iman. Allahu subhanahu wa ta'ala he called them by al-iman. Meaning the iman that was in their hearts. Barakallahu feekum. So this was the address. The address was from in the title of Al-Iman. He called them under the title of Al-Iman. Mada qal? Ya ibadi alladhina amanu. My servant that, have, that believe. Oh my servant that believe. 
So Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala called them by what? By way of the title of Al-Iman. So that means that because they did not perform the hijrah, that they were disbelievers. That they exited out the realms of Al-Islam. La. Shaykh Salih al-Fawdhan hafizahullah commenting on this. He said that هذه الآية من سورة العنكبوت He said that this verse it is in سورة العنكبوت which is the 29th chapter if I'm not mistaken huh? which is in the 29th chapter He said this verse is in سورة العنكبوت وفيها الأمر بالجهاد بالهجرة وأن أرض الله واسعة and also in this verse, it is the command of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala to establish the hijrah. It is in it the command of Al Hijrah. It is in it the command of Al Hijrah. And also it is in it that Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala is informing us that his space or his land or his earth is spacious. Allah Ta'ala is informing us. About how spacious his his earth is. طيب. He say inna ardiya or inna ardi wa siatun that my earth is spacious. Uh, fifty six, fifty six. Wa in kanat, wa wa in kunta fi baladin la tatamakan min izhari di nika fiha. He said, he mentioned, he said, even if the person is not in a, is in a place, whereas he doesn't have the ability to openly manifest his religion, he said, if the person found himself in a place, in a land, where he does not, it is no way that he can openly, and he openly manifests his religion, openly practice his religion, he said, فَهُنَاكَ أَرْضُ اللَّهِ وَاسِعَةً طيب, know that this, the earth of Allah, the earth of Allah is spacious. And he say, قَدْ وَسَعَ اللَّهُ الْأَرْضُ سُبْحَانَهُ وَتَعَلَىٰ Allah has made the earth to be spacious. Allah tabaraka wa ta'ala has made the earth to be spacious. Allah ta'ala has made the earth to be spacious. And he say, وَالدَّلِيلُ عَلَى الْهِجْرَةِ and as in regard to the proof and evidence of the hijrah, in regard to the sunnah, because we have the, the dalil from the Quran, we have the dalil from the, huh? the sunnah, and we have the dalil of the hijrah from the huh? ijma'ah center. From the ijma'ah, right? What will be the dalil of the ijma'ah about Munira? Very easy though. What is the dalil for the ijma of I mean for the proof that the proof that it is in regard to the ijma, the consensus of the hijra? No, some stay behind. These ones stay stood behind. That's why Allah addressed them. Huh? Some, some of them died. But the point is, but some of them died. But the point of it, right, is what? That they, they, they migrated. The companion migrated. They migrated. Right? And not only they migrated, but the virtue was given to those who migrated first. Right? Those who migrated and they fought before the Fatah was given precedence over those who they fought and they migrated after the Fatah. But all of them wakullan wa'ad Allahu ish al husna. But all of them Allah Taala has promised them al jannah. Yes. yes. Can you be, can, can you be, can you, if you're Muslim, can, can you, if you're Muslim, then you're not Muslim anymore, 
Would they keep you out? Say it one more time. When Muslim in Mecca or Medina, and if you're still Muslim, they, they, they You mean this present time? And, and if you're Muslim, and they not, they change your religion to like Mecca, like you're a Jew, and, would they kick you out? If they kick you out, yeah. and that's all you're going to have, you're good. You understand what he said, right? If they just kick you out, but if you saw, if you see the sword coming up, right? Know that you won't see it until it is on your throat. I'll explain to you, inshallah, after. Now, so here, the Shaykh he mentioned what dalilu al hijra and the proof and evidence in regard to the hijra. But here in this time in a sunnah from the perspective of the sunnah. Right? When the sunnah. Right? Here the sunnah will mean what? Abdullah. And here, what will it mean? He say what dalilu ala al hijra mean as sunnah. The proof and evidences. Or the proof and evidence. Now I'm the proof and evidence. Or the proofs and evidences in regard to the hijra from the sunnah. What would the sunnah mean here? Right, the sunnah meaning here, the hadith meaning, meaning, the meaning of the sunnah here will be. I'm, I'm saying in here, in here, in this, in in this, in this line right here. Look at it, read it, and answer that. In here, this from this the word of this this word sunnah right here. Underline it or color make it, so you ain't gonna keep. Bargaining with me. So what would this term sunnah here mean? I'm sorry? Statement of what? Okay, the statement The statement doesn't necessarily mean the statement of the prophet. When you say al-kitab, we all understand you're talking about the Quran. But the statement only, can we understand that from the prophet? La. So the statement of the prophet, yes. The actions of the messenger, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, yes. Naam, that which is the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, it was done in front of them, and he, he, he approved of it, right? A sunnah to right? Very good. So here it is what it is that terminology of the sunnah from the statement of the Messenger alayhi salatu wasalam, his action or that which he affirmed or that which was done in front of them, and he approved of it. So he mentioned. And the proof of it in the Quran, in the Sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam, because we have two verses, right? One was in Surah Al-Nisa, and the second verse was in Surah Al-Ankabut. Surah Al-Nisa, and the second was in Surah Al-Ankabut, right? And the proof in the Sunnah of the Messenger sallallahu alaihi wasallam is, as the Messenger alaihi salatu wasallam said in a hadith that akhrajahu Imam Abu Dawood rahimahullah, and likewise the Darimi rahimahullah and Imam Ahmed. Kadalika, they brought this narration. The Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he said that the Hijra will not cease, will not stop. And up until the Tawbah stops. Up until the Tawbah ceases, And the Tawbah will not stop or will not cease. Up until that the sun rises from the west. Up until the sun rises from the west. Up until the sun rises from the west. But Amma Kauluhu, as in regard to the statement of the Messenger, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, La Hijrata Ba'd al Fatih, right? La Hijrata Ba'd al Fatih, that there is no migration after the conquest, after the conquest of Mecca, right? There was no, there is no Hijra after the conquest of Mecca. After the conquest of Mecca, there is no, there is no hijrah, right? Because after the conquest of Mecca, Mecca became a land of the 